Good morning, Wolves, and welcome to WMEN, your source for news around the meadow. I'm Grace. And I'm Jayla. Today is Feb- Friday, February 23rd, 2023. K2 has digital kids and 3-5 has media this week. Our vision at Wolf Meadow is that all students will be resp- responsible, respectful, and academically prepared. All students are expected to follow our Wolf rules. WMS choices, O offer respect, L love of voices, and F follow directions. If you want to share in the celebration of Black History Month, choose a person write a thoughtful paragraph highlighting their achievements submit your paragraph to teachers teachers are to contact miss mclean for recording stay tuned after the news for our next contributor contributors the waiting house will eat on the stage for the house celebration on february 29th our house of the week is candor our pbis game day will be hosted march 1st the Antennas Challenge is going strong at, and at the end of each month. We will crown the Antennas Champions with extra recess and popsicles. Make sure you have, you are here each and every day. If you are selling chocolate, make sure you are returning the chocolate money to school as you finish. Hey Grace, are there any birthdays today? A happy birthday goes out to a happy birthday goes out to Natalia, Chloe, Jada, Alexander, and Anne, I, I Anis. Anis. We hope you have a fantastic day. Hey, Jalen, what's on the lunch menu for today? Today we will be having, you guessed it, pizza or meatball sub yogurt, bowl chicken sandwich, potato, smiles, broccoli, banana, fruit, juice with milk or water to drink. Thanks, Jalen. Now let's check in with Isabella for our today's weather report. Hello, Wolves. I'm Isabella with today's weather report. Today in Concord, North Carolina, we will rain ending early, but thunder is possible throughout the day. Breaks of sun in the afternoon, high 64 degrees Fahrenheit. Remember to make every day a beautiful day. Now back to the news. Thanks, Isabella. Now it's time to move into our Positivity Project character trait. This week we will focus on one element of the other people mindset, treating other successes. Being happy for other people when they succeed can be a great way to improve our own health, happiness, and relationships. When people cheer each other on it, begins a chain reaction that helps build positive relationships, and those relationships are the foundation for a strong culture in teams, schools, and businesses. Next Tuesday, the 27th, Wolf Meadow students and staff shall wear green in honor of P2 Spirit Day. Teachers, add this to agendas of communication to parents. Now please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Well, that's it for today's news. I'm Grace. And I'm Jalen. Wolfgang and Meta stay, stay golden. Go Wolves! Rosa Parks, in her days, they had buses, and if someone went into the bus, whoever the bus driver told to give up their seat, they had to leave the bus. And that same thing happened to Rosa Parks, and she did not give up her seat. So, so she got arrested, but, but that happened so many times but now we celebrate black people and we call it black history month and her um her, her birthday was on february 4 1913. hello i'm emilia and today i'm gonna show, tell you about katherine johnson katherine loved math it was hard, but she worked through. 
Catherine was born on August 26, 1918, White Sulphur Springs, West Virginia. She was the youngest of four children. Her father owned a farm and her mother had been a teacher. Catherine died on February 24th, 2020, at the age of 101. My name is Elena and I'm doing my project on Lizzo. Lizzo is a singer and rapper. In 2019, she released her song, Cause I Love You. She became an amazing songwriter and she also became famous. Lizzo had been making songs for many years before Cause I Love You. Lizzo's real name is Melissa Vivian Jefferson. Lizzo was born in Mo Detroit, Michigan on April 27, 1988. Lizzo's parents are Sherry and Michael. The Jeffersons moved to Houston, Texas. That is where Lizzo studied and played the flute. When Lizzo was 14 years old, that is when she discovered hip hop and rap. Lizzo formed a rap group, Cornwall Clique. The members wore cornholes in their hair.